Hi everyone, welcome again to Last Minute Maths. And uh, this one is a special request from one of my students. And it's to do a, an Olympiad question. All right, I think it's the uh, Junior Olympiad. And um, basically all algebra. So let's get um, stuck in. Let's just change this around. Yep, that'll do. Okay, so you've got basically two simultaneous equations. And one of them, the first one, x plus xy plus x squared equals 9, equation 1. And the second one, y plus xy plus y squared equals minus 3, equation 2. All right. First thing we're going to do is factorize both equations. You can see that in the first equation, uh, x is a common factor throughout. And in the second one, it's y. So that gives us this resulting uh, pair of equations. Factorize, that is. x times 1 plus y plus x, in brackets. And then y times the same thing, in brackets, 1 plus y plus x. All right, so you can see there's a common factor there. Um, rearranging both of those to get 1 plus y plus x on its own, in both cases, gives us the result... 9 over x, so 1 plus y plus x equals 9 over x from equation 1. All right, And for the second equation, 1 plus y plus x equals minus 3 over y. All right, So that's from the second one, as you can see. Now, I could have done that differently. I'll just take a moment out of the solution to show you. What I could have done here is divided the two equations like this writing it as a quotient and having this result as you can see if I do it like that I can actually cancel the 1 plus y plus x directly and whichever way you do it right, it will result in the same solution there so in the original method that I used, 1 plus y plus x equals 9 over x, and again equals minus 3 over y, I'm equating the 1 plus y plus x, right? They're both equal, so the two results must be equal, etc. I hope that makes sense. Right, so um, going on from there, we have this relationship between x and y now. Rearranging that um, in a couple of steps, just getting rid of the factor of 3, and then rearranging, we get expression for x equals minus 3y. All right? So one variable in terms of the other. All right? So now we substitute back into equation 2. I just chose that randomly. You could do equation into, uh, substitute back into equation 1 as well. All right? um, it doesn't make a difference. So when we put that in, that's where x was, all right? So y plus uh, x equals minus 3y in brackets times y plus y squared equals minus 3. So that's just restating equation 2 and replacing x with minus 3y. Expand the brackets and rearrange a little. So I've brought the 3 to the other side and I've just added up the y squareds and the y, etc. So hopefully that's clear. Then I've timesed everything by minus 1. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to change that. I've just realized. Might be mistaken for an x. So multiply by minus 1. And that will change all the signs to make the y squared positive. So we're left with 2y squared minus y minus 3 equals 0. So we have now a recognizable quadratic. Okay. Factorizing the quadratic um, there, we have two factors, 2y minus 3 and y plus 1. 
All right. Equals zero. Now, obviously, we know that um, one of those must be zero at any given time for that statement to be true, for that equation to equal zero. So taking the solutions from there, standard quadratic factorization, and it's y has a solution of 3 over 2. Just to explain if anybody's watching this and not sure about that, we have 2y minus 3 equals 0. So y must equal 3 over 2. Likewise, for y plus 1 equals 0, y must equal minus 1. All right. So we have those solutions there. And taking each one in turn, start with the y equals 3 over 2. Noting that right at the beginning, we had a relationship between x and y. So x equals minus 3y. Therefore, x must equal minus 3, minus 3 times 3 over 2. And that gives a result minus 9 over 2. Correspondingly, when y equals minus 1, x equals your minus 3 times minus 1, and that gives that result there. All right, so that has actually gotten us right to the solution. And so the presenting the solutions in this form, all right, it's xy in coordinate form. You know, let me tidy that up. I didn't like that. There we go. And it still doesn't work. There we go. All right, x, y coordinates. So the first combination, you could say, is taking the integers first, 3 minus 1. And the other coordinate solution is minus 9 over 2, comma, 3 over 2. All right, again, remember, it's in x, y format. Just to reiterate before somebody complains that I didn't explain it properly. Right, so that is that Olympiad question solved. If that's been of some help, please do leave a comment and uh, consider subscribing, liking the video, etc. And if you have any particular Olympiad-style questions, algebra, or any other topic in maths or even science, then do leave another comment and I'll be happy to try and do um, a particular video or a specific video for that. Well, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.